Hey guys, Mr. McSweeney here to help you with irregular preterite verbs. Now this does not cover all of the irregular preterite verbs. There's quite a few, but these are our high frequency irregular preterite verbs that we'll be using quite often. If we're gonna boil this down, the irregular preterite goes like this. Change your irregular verb root and then add the new ending. So we're still only dealing with two steps, which is not a big deal. We just have to get used to now changing that root. Irregular verbs in the preterite have their own set of endings. Now the good news is that even though it's a new set, it's actually built from our other endings and they're all kind of just mixed up. So let's go through those really quick. Your ending for an irregular preterite verb for yo is going to be an e. No accent mark or anything. And you'll recognize that from the AR list. For an irregular verb in the preterite for the subject to, it becomes iste. For el, ella, usted, it is o. For nosotros, it's imos. For vosotros, it's isteis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes is hieron. So you can see how those are kind of a mixture of both of your AR preterite endings and your ER and IR preterite endings. All right, so let's talk about what happens to our verbs. We've just talked about the endings, and now we're gonna talk about the stem or the root or the beginning of our verb. A verb is made up of two things, your stem or root, and then your ending. And so you kind of mess with those to conjugate verbs. With these irregular preterite verbs, we're actually gonna change that root. So for instance, tener, the new root becomes tu, and then you add your irregular preterite ending, okay? So for instance, if you wanna say I had, then you say tuve. So you're gonna take that root, which is tu, and add your ending, and you'll get tuve. For a star, your new root becomes estu, and then you would just add your ending from the chart above. For querer, it becomes quis, hacer becomes is, decir, I'm not gonna say it because the J doesn't make really a sound without a vowel after it, but it's gonna become D-I-J. So if you want to say, I said, you would use the D-I-J and put the E, and you'd get yo dije. If you wanna ask the question, what did you say? Que tu dijiste? And so you're using that ending from two with this new root. It's not super complicated, it's just another step. Andar, which is kind of like to walk around, becomes anduv. Venir becomes vin, and then you just add your endings. Vine, viniste, vino, vinimos, etc. Poder becomes pud. So you say yo pude, right? Yo no pude, I couldn't. Yo no pude hacer mi tarea. I could not do my homework. Poner, which is to put, becomes pus. Donde puse mi celular? Aquí es mi celular. Saber becomes soup. Try some examples. These verbs are super useful because we will use them all the time. And I hope this helps and good luck. Albie's joined us for the video. Our puppy dog. Recording. Oh, I didn't just break that. <laughs>